Hello, pals. Excuse my rainbow cage here. Uh, we're packing. We're moving again. Oh my goodness. We just moved last year. Now we're moving again and it's not fun, but I'm excited to get into the new space. Moving into a house. Gonna have a uh, sewing and stream room that is dedicated and separate and a workshop. So I'm really pumped to get in and get those set up and be there forever. No more move. No move. Look what Robin did. Look, you ruin. You do a ruin. Life with cats. Yeah. Anyway, happy 2022. I hope your new year so far has been fucking amazing. I am hopeful. I remain hopeful for 2022, but I'm not gonna get too wild yet. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I was gonna do a New Year's resolution video. Maybe I still will, but for the most part, I'm like scared. Like 2020 and 2021, trauma, right? I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I just want this year to just be a year. Anyway, so I had my part one of my birthday stream last night on Twitch. Thank you to everyone who tuned in and everyone who has sent gifts. We unboxed some stuff from my wish list and my PO box, and we're going to be unboxing more on my actual birthday, which is Tuesday, January 25th, 8 p.m. Well, we might do it earlier. Ignore me on the time. Ignore me. Uh, I'll have it up on my socials uh, when I when I have the plan for sure, because like I said, everything's up in the air. Yeah. Thank you everyone for tuning into that stream. Um, during the stream, we got into a discussion about community and I'm going to give lots more context on that, but like, um, criticizing community and whether you should or shouldn't kind of criticize community. So here's the backstory. So the, when we were young tour or festival, whatever the full name of it is, holy shit, like everyone else, I saw that flyer and the emo girl inside of me came to life. It breathed life into her. She came back and she was like so fucking pumped. I saw the prices of them and I was like, oh, but I was still pumped that it was like existed and that it was happening, right? Like everyone was. Nostalgia fucking hype. And then, and then, and then, before I even saw red flag posts, I've been accused of bandwagoning. Everyone's getting accused of bandwagoning. Before I even saw red flag posts, I like calmed down from this nostalgia hype and I was like, oh, hold on. No refunds. It's really expensive. We're in a pandemic. Conventions and events are shutting down and postponing. There's a lot of uncertainty again. So most shows and, if, and most events aren't doing no refunds right now that I've seen at least because that seems like inappropriate for the time we live in. Anyway, Red Flags, Red Flags, Live Nation. I know they run a ton of big events and Astro World uh, isn't like everyone's saying, like, isn't their only event. They've had a lot of successful, safe events. Wonderful. Awesome. We still can't ignore what happened to Astro World. And it's not unfair for people to bring that up as critique because people died. But I digress. Red Flags, right? I'm like, oh, man, this. Uh, and then I saw... And I don't know, I haven't done a lot of research on this, I'll be honest. So I don't know all of the context, um, but there seems to be a lot of bands that either genuinely didn't know they were on the lineup or made jokes. But like, that's a lot of bands to make that, I don't know. I don't, I don't know about that. So I'm gonna, we're not discussing that anyway. That's just the context for what we, context for what we are discussing. All those posts came out, people warning people about the red flags and what they saw. And one in, in particular that I shared was Danica Rockwood's post, which went pretty viral on Facebook. And she listed out some red flags that I really agreed with. The same red flags I had been like, Ooh, about prior to seeing her post and everyone else post, right? So I shared it in agreement. And um, I was reading through the comments and some, there was so many people, not just on that post, but on so many who are like really pissed off that anybody, anybody, is saying anything bad about the show, like buzzkills, ruining everything, ruining the event, you know, don't say anything bad about the show. This is what, this is an event we want, we're excited for it. Why are you like pissing in our Cheerios? Which I get, I get, it sucks when you're excited about something and everybody shits all over it, right? But I feel like, oh, there's definitely some people out there doing that because there's some people who just love to do that, to rain on other people's parade, but, I think it's important not to confuse genuine criticism and discussion 
with people just being assholes. And I think a lot of that happened here. So anyway, I'm reading through the comments and I, as a rule, I don't really engage in internet drama. Like I try not to get into like arguments and discussions with people unless it's like entirely necessary. But I did get into a little bit of back and forth with somebody. I, I mean, it wasn't like an argument. It was pretty respectful, just, you know, disagreeing. Um, and then they made the comment, how would you feel or something along the lines of like, how would you feel if people were uh, doing this regarding the cosplay community? And that stuck with me. Like that really like rolled around in my head for a while because just that sentence sort of blew my mind. I feel like genuine critique of community is wildly important for the health of a community. Like my response is and was, Please do, if you see red flags or things that genuinely concern you in the cosplay community that you feel like, or any community, creative or other, that you're like, mm, I'm not sure about that, you should speak up about that. You should start a conversation about that. The cosplay community is certainly no stranger to scam events and shitty businessmen running off with everyone's money and companies that scam you and all kinds of scams and issues. And we warn each other about it all the time, right? Like you see it, especially on Twitter, that's a great place to see, you know, what's going on in the community that, you know, you should be aware of. And maybe I misread what they were saying, but in the moment on that, that thread, that comment thread we were just talking about, I took that as, you know, you're saying bad things about my community, like shitting on something I love. How would you like if I did the same to you? Please do. If you see red flags about a convention or event or a person, whatever it is, I feel like it is our responsibility as community members to speak out about that, to warn others. Because why stay quiet, let your fellow community members lose a ton of money on an event what, that you have concerns about. And again, there is a difference between just shitting all over something for no reason, having genuine red flag concerns. That's very nuanced and I think that it's important to read into the context and to do your own research and, you know, decide for yourselves. But you can't ask other people not to discuss their concerns because it makes you feel bad. Like, it sucks that that concert has so much negativity attached to it now. But I don't think that's just people ruining the fun and trying to ruin a good event and, you know, oh, the musicians really need this after COVID. You guys are all really selfish. People are just doing this to be popular, things like that. Like, no. My overall point is just that community has to hold itself responsible. It's up to the members, the people that make up the community to keep the community safe. And that includes warning others about things that may be damaging or problematic to the community as a whole. And that includes events that make you go, hmm. Just after I received that comment, I was seeing a lot of that, like people like, how would you like it if I talked about this or that or this? If it's genuine concern, you gotta talk about it. Like you, we just, we, it's important to do so. Like it's okay to be bummed, feel your feels for sure, but you shouldn't be silent about something. Like people are gonna spend $300 on those tickets, no refunds. There's gonna be a mad rush because you know, it's a limited time purchasing thing. And then if the event gets canceled, which there is totally a chance it will again, conventions are canceling right now, events due to the vid, like you're out, you're shit out of luck, no refunds out of all that money. You probably bought, you know, your, your airline tickets in your hotel by that point, you may have at least. And if it gets canceled, like there's no guarantee you're getting all of that back. Well, I think it, the responsible thing to do is to be like, hey, I have a concern I would like to share and discuss that as a community. And I think that we have to step outside of our feels a little bit and not take that personal or as an attack on something we love or something we wanted to happen so badly. I get the disappointment, I get it. I too was like, oh man, I don't know about this, you know? But like, why are you going to blows in the comments? Why are you spending hours and hours of your life, so, so many people, arguing with people who have genuine concerns and telling them that they're like ruining the music industry. Hey, what a waste of time. What a wait, what a waste of your, of your precious time on this earth. Yeah, I just wanted to rant about that for a minute because that, that question just stuck with me. I, I don't know why it resonated. I just was so like, what if 
yeah, like I want you to tell me things. If you see a convention, if I'm like, hey, I'm guesting at this event and I'm so excited. And then you see that it's about to scam a bunch of people out of money or there is a chance or it appears that way. There's something that has made you go, hmm, please tell me right away. I'm not gonna be mad or like, why are you ruining this thing I wanna do? Because pretending it's not happening doesn't mean it's not happening. That's just not the way it works. If we don't address something, it doesn't just go away or the bad thing doesn't just not happen. So yeah, we were talking about that on stream last night and I just wanted to share, share my feels on it because I feel like it's concerning to me that there are people who genuinely feel like you shouldn't discuss real concerns that could cost real people real money that they need. Especially in a pandemic, like everyone's had a tough two years. A lot of people have lost their jobs or been out of work for a long time, all kinds of stuff. Like $300 is a lot for a concert ticket. And if you budget that in and the concert doesn't happen and then you're out of that money, like that fucking sucks. So hell yeah, I wanna tell other people like, oh, I do a concern and it, they can do their own research and maybe, you know, think twice about it. Maybe they still buy the ticket. And you know what, if you bought a ticket and you are going, I genuinely, and I said this on my Instagram story yesterday too, I genuinely hope it's amazing because it looks like if it happens, it will be amazing. I hope you go and have the time of your life. I'm not wishing ill on anybody. And I don't think other people like who are criticizing this are either. Obviously there's always gonna be some people again who are just assholes, but I don't think that's the general majority. I think everyone needs to take a deep breath, just deep breath. But yes, you should criticize your community when you see reason to do so. Those discussions are important. Those discussions are how we protect community, how we make community more inclusive, how we move forward in a positive direction as a community. Like that's important. I think that's really important and so does Bane.